This might be the only way I get pants long enough for me. The most comfortable pants in the world. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I always, as always, am excited about today's video because I finally am going to take that Please Say, that's the name of the fabric. I couldn't remember it in the original thrift haul. The fabric is called Please Say. I found this dress at Family Thrift Center and I got it because it's Please Say and Please Say is hot right now. You can see these pictures popping up. Um, you can find it all the way from like more expensive brands all the way down to like Shein and stuff like that. So this is a material that I was like, I want to get my hands on it. And I'm so glad I did. Cause you can see right here, I am feeling this fabric. Like it's, I don't know what it is, what I got going on, but the feel of it, I just love, love, love the way it feels. It feels so good and it feels good against the skin. It feels good to touch. It's just got a texture thing going on. I really like texture. So I knew I wanted to make pants, but I didn't know whether I wanted to make wide leg pants or like a flare leg pant. Um, I asked you guys, and of course, everybody was like, make pants on the top, make pants on the top, but I couldn't figure out what type of pants. So we're gonna go on this journey to see what type of pants we make. I think we're gonna go for wide leg first. If that doesn't work, we'll go to the flare leg, but this is gonna be super easy. The easiest pair of pants you ever wanted to make. And even if you can't find like this type of police aid dress, any of the those dresses where the the waist comes up to here you can do this turn your dress into pants in just a few steps all right let's do it all right so here's our dress just so you know um, a lot of people ask me this sometimes when I thrift stuff what's the brand it's Baltic born so if you want to look that up maybe if you like this dress you could uh, find it the skirt is really long but it is just long enough for me to make a decent length pair of either wide leg or flared leg pants. So I'm gonna cut off above the elastic because I want to um, keep as much length as possible. So now we have this piece to do some type of top. We'll figure it out later. The next thing we're going to do, we have a like a little slip. We're gonna cut that out. And I'm actually gonna do that off camera because if I try to do it quickly on camera, I'm gonna cut the wrong thing and I'm gonna be mad. The next step is going to be to take the two side seams apart. If you don't have any seams, then you're just going to cut it straight up the middle. Um, but since I do have these side seams, I don't wanna create more seams. So I am going to take these seams out. These seams are quite loose. I think it was sewn stretched. So, I don't think it's gonna be a hard task to just get a little bit of it and kind of pull it. We have our skirt, which is still a skirt at this point, um, and it's open. The seams are open on the sides, and that's what you want. Even if you cut it down the middle, you want those seams, you want two open sides. Now, I'm going to take a pair of pants that are, these are like a flare leg, knit pair of pants and I'm going to use this as the guide for cutting the girth part of my pants. I folded them along the leg seam so at the top of your pants is going to be uneven there because the back of your pants is typically higher than the front. Just making sure we get this curve cut correctly. So my curve is actually going to be a little bit more than what this is. But I'm gonna do it that way because I wanna go straight down. I don't wanna angle it out. All right, here we go, first cut. All right, that's the front curve. And then the same thing on the other side, but we're gonna fold it so that the back curve is to the outside. And this one typically has more of a curve, kinda of like what we did for here, because it needs to curve with your bump. So if you, and that's the good thing about making your own clothes, if you are the type of person where you really don't have a butt, or if you're the type of person where, you know, baby got back, then <laughs> you can alter that curve so that it flatters you. You know, there's nothing worse than having clothes that don't, you know, that don't have you in mind, you know, your body. All right, so we're gonna do the same exact thing. 
All right, so now we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew this closed and we're gonna sew this closed. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button, please, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Because we have all types of up cycles. We have no sew up cycles. And when I say no sew, I mean some of them are scissors only, yes. I promise, scissors only. And we have all the way up to just the most amazing epic up cycles ever. So definitely subscribe and let's get back to the video. All right, here we go. So the two sides, that's the front, that's the back. And what we wanna do next is we want to fold it so that the front and the back are on top of one another. And we are going to sew our leg seams down. I like to line up my crotch seams to make sure that they line up because you know you don't want those kind of weird. Then I'm going to sew from the crotch seam down on one side of the leg. I'm gonna go back to the crotch seam and sew the other side down. Of course, you can clip these together to make sure they stay. Um, I'm not gonna clip them because it doesn't matter. As long as these two are lined up, then I'm happy. When you get to the end, you are going to do a back stitch. Um, especially if you don't have any hem to do. I don't have to hem this. This plisse material doesn't fray. Um, but if you are going to hem it, then you'll hem it, the bottom of the legs at this point. All right, there we go. <laughs> we have, like these are the easiest pants I've ever made. And since I saved the little elastic here, all I'm gonna do is fold it down, fold down the top, and do a little zigzag stitch all along. And the reason I'm doing a zigzag stitch is because then this will stay stretchy. I need this to stay stretchy so that I'll be able to get in and out of it. So you don't wanna do a straight stitch um, unless you have like a twin needle in there. You could do a twin needle stitch if you want to do that. But um, I think I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch. I could do a twin needle stitch. That would make it look nice. All right, let me add my twin needle and we'll do a twin needle stitch. I do have a video on how to do a twin needle. All right, so here is the top. I did do the twin needle. Um, because of this fabric, <laughs> um, it did come out a little wonky at points, but I am happy with it. I am glad that I did that. It just gives it a little bit more definition, made it look like I put an effort into the waistband, which I did not. It was like the most ready-made waistband ever. I did stretch while I was sewing. Um, so yeah, it stretches quite a bit. These are like the most comfortable pants in the world. All right, so you'll notice that all we did was pants and I am going to show you. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see what happened with the top because actually nothing happened with the top. I know, it's crazy. Nothing happened with the top, but I still got my two piece. Let me show you what I mean. Way up in the clouds, got you wrapped around her fingers. She's not scared about making your spine shiver. She's a savage, causing damage. Way up in the clouds, in the clouds, yeah. She's a heartbreaker, a little dangerous Running through your mind with, with a razor You might not see how she plays with your heart She's a heartbreaker, a heartbreaker All right, yes, I'm definitely giving more of a 70s vibe with these uh, shoes here because I pulled it up a little bit higher than my normal waist, but I love this because I could wear them high. I could wear them at my natural waist to give a little bit more length to cover the shoes if I wanted to. Um, but with this top, that's how I feel more comfortable. But I could do this. I could wear this top underneath something else. And because I didn't go ahead and finish the top, I could just do other things with the top. But let me show you how I did this top without doing anything. All I did was have on a bralette underneath. I Or you could have a regular bra on underneath. I tucked both sides into the bra and then just pulled them over and back underneath. Simple, easy peasy. Didn't have any issues. If you're scared, of course, you just add a safety pin in the middle of that. Perfectly understand that. Um, you know, 
we don't want to be out here. Or maybe we do. No. <laughs> but um, I love wide leg pants right now. They are doing the most for me, but I can never find them. I can never find them long enough for me. And I know a lot of people always ask, well, like, how tall are you? Guys, I'm only 5'6". And actually not even that. I'm 5'5 five, five and 3 quarters. So... <laughs> I just have long legs and I feel so bad for the actual tall girls, like really? So yeah, this is the way to do it. Um, if you are a tall girl um, and you have just some basic sewing skills, definitely, definitely give this a try. All right, so definitely let me know if you guys are going to turn your dresses into wide leg pants or flare leg pants. If you do want to see me make a pair of flare leg pants, definitely let me know. I can make that happen and yes, absolutely subscribe. Don't miss that, hit that subscribe button below and I have other videos for you to watch right here, right now and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.